Alright boys, what's going on? So today's video, we have some early gameplay footage for MXGP24 first person. This was recorded by a guy named Heggy17 on YouTube. Uh, he was at Mortal Crossing Nations a couple weeks ago and he found somebody that was playing it and he recorded it. It's not his gameplay. But the video doesn't have a whole lot of views, so I figured, you know what, let's just cover his video, showcase the gameplay that he was able to get, and then let's talk about it. So I'm going to play his clip here. It's about 30 seconds. I suggest watching the whole thing because they do show... Um, a new first person camera angle and uh, so yeah, I'm gonna play it and then we'll talk about it So that was actually quite a lot of footage, uh, about 30 seconds. Whoever was racing was on Lommel, so I figured, you know what, I went on MXGP21, and that's the gameplay you're seeing in this video, is MXGP21 first person on Lommel, with the Triumph, so you can kind of get a full comparison to see how they compare. Obviously, MXGP21's first person is really good, has a nice flow and smoothness to it. Now, honestly, the first person doesn't look completely off or terrible in MXGP24. Let's go over the couple positives that I did notice. So when you end up crashing in first person, it looks like the camera kind of follows your rider's helmet, which is interesting. I don't think we've ever really seen that before in like Milestones or MX Wars ATV games. So if you go down and you eat shit into the dirt, your guy is going to be looking in the dirt. It's not going to zoom out to third person. So that's a little nice detail, I guess. I do like how you can see a lot of the front fender and handlebars in first person. I do like how they added a new kind of GoPro version of helmet cam, I guess you could say. In previous MXGP games, if you were to go do instant replay, you could look at the top helmet view of riders, but you can never race in that view. But it looks like in MXGP 24, there is a new camera angle view for first person where it's on top of your helmet and you can see the helmet and the uh, front fender of the bike. So I like that. I think that honestly looks decent. I think it looks better than the normal first person camera that we're used to, like the chest mount or whatever. We'll have to wait and see how it feels, but I think that one looks much better than the original one. Um, but that's pretty much all the pauses I do have to say about it. Um, obviously, we can see the HUD, which looks alright, doesn't look spectacular, looks decent enough. The one thing I'm not a huge fan of with this first person, if this is the final version, which it probably will be, it looks very rigid. So if you go back to MXGP 2019, one of the worst games ever made, and you go on first person for that. Compare the two, they oddly look kind of similar with how rigid and just stiff the first person camera looks. It doesn't have a flowiness to it. If you look at MXGP 2021's first person, it has a nice smoothness slash flow to it. Then if you compare it to MXGP 24 or MXGP 2019, those games look very stiff and just rigid. That's the best way I can describe it. I do like how the bike kind of reacts to a lot of the brake and bumps. That's a nice little touch that we don't get to see too often. And I think it's good that they have implemented more reactiveness to all the brake and bumps on the track. But it still looks rigid when the guy is turning or even going over the bumps. It just looks very rigid and bouncy. Now, obviously, whoever was playing wasn't the best player. And from what I've heard, the physics at this uh, Motocross Nations event where the people got to play the game... It wasn't like a final physics, it was just very beta, supposedly. Don't know if that's just people trying to save their ass with the game or what, I don't know. Because with all the early gameplay we've seen for MXGP24, it looks like the brakes are just non-existent and the whips are just not in the game. So that's definitely a scary sign. We'll have to wait and see what they are able to do. Um, the whips in first person could look trash, they could look good. Probably very mediocre at best is my prediction. There also is goggle cam. It doesn't look uh, impressive really. It looks, you know, it's normal. It's goggle cam. You can't really do too much with it. But overall, the first person looks mid, I guess. But again, I like the view on top of the helmet. I think that looks really nice. But the regular view looks mid and how it, how it looks like it's going to feel. 
Um, I could be completely wrong, but I, I, I don't know, man. It's, it looks like this might be the final product of the game. A lot of hype has, I think, has died down after seeing all the early gameplay footage that has been on YouTube. And one thing I want to mention as well, this is Lamo, and the track, I think they added a lot more break and bumps, but it doesn't have that sandy Lamo look or feel to it. We haven't really ever gotten that in a motocross game that's been produced by Milestone. The sand tracks like Lamo, they just don't, it doesn't look rough or crazy looking. It doesn't look intimidating. It just, look, it just looks like a regular old track. We haven't really ever had proper sand textures or graphics on sand tracks in these games. We'll have to wait and see what the track deformation. You can see there is some on the track. We don't know if this was his second or third or fifth or seventh or tenth lap. I think it was at least his second if you look at the HUD. I don't think there was any AI in the race, but you can see there is some sort of terrain deformation, which is cool. Um, maybe with a full set of riders, like 20 riders, however many there is in the game. Uh, after a few laps, maybe the track gets piss rough. Uh, we don't know, but I have a feeling that it won't be too crazy like Lamo usually is in real life. But uh, overall, I'm not too enthusiastic about MXGP24 anymore. I think a lot of hype has died down with everybody. First person looks alright, looks mid, and it's just hard to say if the game is going to have a chance of being good. I don't think it will now. We'll have to wait and see when the final physics are in the game with the whips and whatever they might fix, but it's not looking good. It is not looking good at all. Uh, so yeah, that's MXGP24 first person early gameplay. Again, it was by a guy named Heggy17. Go check his channel out. He's posted some stuff in the past, and he deserves the credit because he was the one that recorded it. And again, it wasn't his gameplay. He was just recording somebody else play. But other than that, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, take care.